hopefully the rain has stopped with you it's been a pretty grim and depressing few days here and i think grim and depressing kind of suits some people's moods at the moment with gcse and a level results days coming up you are going to be nervous, you are going to be anxious, worrying about what happens if you don't get the results that you need because all of the newspapers are talking about higher than expected results, massive grade inflation um, and we are going to see lots of people getting higher grades than they would have done if they had sat exams. There are going to be lots and lots of talk about people getting high grades but what if you're not one of those people? What if you are disappointed with your results? What if you are unhappy with your results and the grim and depressing mood just continues after you get your results? The most important thing to remember is that you are not defined by your results. They are numbers and letters on a bit of paper and they are not you. They may have an influence over the next step that you take in life, over the direction that you're going to go in over the next few years, next few months, but they do not define you as a person and they do not limit what you can become. I'm sure you are a lovely, amazing person who is a great friend, but that's not going to be reflected in those letters and those numbers. Now, you will see the whole general slew of celebrities come out standing next to their big fancy cars and go, oh, look, I got all these A-level, look at me now. And I can tell you that the job that I'm doing now, YouTuber, didn't exist when I did my GCSEs and my A-levels. So there's no way that I could have planned to do this. There's no way that I could have said I need to get Bs at A-level so that I can go and be a successful YouTuber. That, that, that's not a sentence that anyone would have listened to. So the grades that you get do not determine what you do in the future. They might determine where you go next year, but all your GCSE and A-level grades are, are something to help you make the next step. So if you are disappointed by your grades, but you still manage to get onto a college course or get onto a university course or get onto your apprentice, then please just accept that as enough. If you got um, a C at uh, A-level, even though you were predicted an A, or you wanted an A, and A was what you needed to get into university, but you still got onto that university course, then just try and accept it. It's not going to be easy, it's not going to be fun, because we all want to get the better grades, but if you've got onto that course, then please just try and put it behind you. Because once you've got your GCSEs, which gets you onto the A-level course, once you've got A-levels which gets you onto your college course, your university course, you kind of don't really need them anymore. Obviously there are some exceptions. You have to have your five GCSEs at four or above, people do check that quite regularly, but if your ninth and tenth GCSE result wasn't exactly what you expected it to be, then it's not the worst thing in the world. As long as you've got onto the next course, then try and be happy with it. Some of you, of course, might want to appeal. Now, I've done a whole separate video taking you through the appeals process in detail. So go and watch that one. It will be linked down below. But if you don't need, need to appeal, then it is just a whole lot of stress that you're piling on yourself for no particular reason. Just for getting a different letter or a different number on a bit of paper and always remember when you appeal grades can go down as well as up and that might lose you your college or your university place which would be a bad bad thing now on results day there's going to be lots of people opening their envelopes and squealing excitedly and then come over and say oh what did you get if you don't want to tell anyone what you got you don't have to just take that envelope take yourself away from other people, put it in your bag, say, I haven't opened it yet, I'm going to go and open it later. Everybody should respect that. You've said something, you've said, no, I'm not going to do this. No reasonable person should be pressuring you into opening your results um, in front of other people. There's, there's no way that is a 
kind or nice thing to do. If you want to go and open your results in private, at home, completely away from other people, then you do that. Do not feel pressured to open it in front of anyone else. Then you've got time to compose yourself if you're not happy, or you've got time to compose yourself if you are really happy. And then it is your choice about how much information you share with other people about what those results are. You might just want to say, I'm really happy with my results and then not tell them what the actual results were. There'll always be the competition where I got seven A's or I got we call it seven A's, that'd be an insane number of A levels. Or I got ten nines and I got four A stars at A level. How many did you get? Just don't rise to it. Just don't do it. In fact, I'd like people to really stop asking that question. Don't ask, what did you get? Or how many of this did you get? Instead, ask, are you happy with your results? And even if the results weren't what you were expecting, if they got you onto the next step in life, then the answer should be, yes, thank you. I am happy with my results. Are you happy with your results? So I, I obviously love to see this big culture shift go on. I don't think it's actually going to happen because... People are competitive, but they shouldn't be. It should just be about whether you're happy with what you've got and whether it gets you onto the next stage in life. There are obviously going to be questions from the grown-ups at home about how well you did, whether you got onto your university or college place. Um, if you did, brilliant, well done. But if you didn't, you might come under a bit of pressure from them. It is always important to have a backup plan in place. Go and watch my video about preparing for A-Level Results Day if you haven't done that already. Have a plan for clearing. Have a backup plan in place so that you can say to them, I didn't get into this university or I didn't get into this college. This is my backup plan. This is what I'm going to do. And then ask them for help. Don't just sit there like expecting things to happen so I need to go and make this phone call now it would be really helpful for me if you went to make me a cup of tea or something like that involve them in the process and kind of like try and distract them away from being disappointed with your results so if your backup plan was to go to the college down the road you can try and put a positive spin on it saying look I can live at home when the bus fare will be much cheaper something like that don't just present people with bad news try and cover it up with good news so that they are not disappointed um this is a good tip with dealing with parents for anything i really need to not have my parents watch this video um don't just tell people bad news kind of like cover it in good news so that the bad news kind of gets hidden so you could say something like I didn't like I did really really well in maths look at how great I did in maths unfortunately my results mean that I can't go to this college or this university but I found this brilliant course that actually I think is much better for me at this different university which I hadn't considered before there you go you've just told your parents that you failed your A-levels but you've hidden it under a load of really really good news it will work for some people, I promise. For other people, it might not work. But for some people, it will work. And if you are one of those people who didn't get onto university course and finds them doing something different, then the life that you had planned out for yourself, the life that you thought you were going to lead, is not the one that you are leading anymore. But that doesn't necessarily make it a bad life you are leading. You might meet the love of your life sitting next to you at your first university lecture that you would never have met if you'd gone to the, the university or well, college course that you'd originally planned on. You might meet a future business partner and then go and make millions standing in a coffee shop at the college down the road instead of the big fancy university that you'd planned on going to. Just because your life is taking a different direction to the one that you thought it would take doesn't mean it's going in a bad direction. This could open up a whole world of opportunities for you. So good luck on results day. I'm going to be here for you as much as I can.